Huh. Big day, big day today. We gotta head out to Sevierville. It's been a long time coming. We're gonna see what happens here. But it'd be nice to get this out of the way. All right, so we're in Sevierville. We're at the Sevierville Airport. Why are we? Why are we here? Well, I figure it's time. It, we gotta get licensed. We gotta get licensed with as much as I'm flying that drone. We gotta get licensed. It'll open up some new doors to do some uh, commercial stuff and actually get paid and make some money. Uh, you do need to have a license in order to make money via your drone, uh, rather than just flying, you know, for fun and uh, hobbyist, as they call it. I figured it's time to get it done. I've been working with the Pilot Institute. It's a fantastic program online. I'm the kind of per like I don't know, like I, I was an average kid in school and just going through the class and getting all the stuff dumped on you. And I feel like as I get older, it's harder to remember stuff. So told Babs the other day I'm like look like I'm almost done with this class I'm just going to push through it this next two days get it done cram everything I can the days before on the cheat sheet and everything and then just get get the test out of the way and get it done otherwise if I try to put this off and you know I keep taking practice tests and keep going back to material and then try to take this like two three weeks down the road it ain't gonna happen so uh, I'm here today gonna take it gotta get 70 percent to pass there's 60 questions which is fine Gonna get 42. I feel confident. I feel confident I can get this. I've been flying a drone forever, I feel like. I know a lot about it, but also it's very eye-opening too, going through this course at how much I may not have known um, when it comes to flying a drone. So it's a very good course, uh, learned a lot from it. So I'm excited to kind of take this to the next level as long as I could check this box and get through this. Uh, it'll be fun, excited to uh, see this. So I guess uh, we'll see what kind of happens here. Cause I'm just gonna sit here and check out the cheat sheet for a little bit and I got about an hour um, until we got to get in there and take the test but we'll see what happens from there all right well 9 10 we gotta go in it's gotta happen right more on this later today's a big day today's a big day in Tennessee for this we're still wearing this crap all right wish me luck y'all break a leg I don't know you know why they used to say break a leg because the person that was saying break a leg to the actor was hoping they literally break their leg so that way they could take their spot on stage. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird how we say that, huh? All right, here we go. Passed. Boom. Done. I'm so excited. I hate those tests. Like, I hate them. Like, you sit there second guessing yourself on every question. Is this right? Oh, should have beat not. Nah. Oh, get not. Nah. Why are we still taking tests as adults? Like adults shouldn't have to take tests anymore. Like I just, I was never a good, a good, I don't know. Anyways, it's behind us, it's done. I think I'm gonna get my helicopter license next. It was look pretty fun. Bad look kill me. I just love how green and beautiful everything is. I feel like just spring just brings a whole new, whole new level of Tennessee just because it's so pretty. Mace, what do you think? Is it pretty? Huh? What? You want to open those? Should we open those? Run over to the, to the P.O. box. I haven't been on top of the mail game like I, I have been. I kind of bummed in myself. I'm sorry about that. But uh, had a few things. Um, but yeah, mass. So let's talk about mass really quick. Mass in Tennessee. On Tuesday, Governor Lee said, no more. We're done. We are done. We're done playing the game. Like, we've done this long enough. No more masks. So he did not renew emergency mandate for the 89 counties of Tennessee uh, that fall under the general health department. So that expires today, April 30th. Uh, the other six, the big six, you know, you got Davidson, you got Knox, you got Chattanooga, Memphis, all those places, you know, the typical big cities, uh, they're on their own. They do their own thing anyways. So uh, it's, it's, we'll see what happens. Now, just because the, the mask mandate and all, all the COVID restrictions that the state part applies to is gone, that doesn't mean that a private business can't mandate a mask or expect you to wear a mask or, or something like that. So it's going to be interesting to see where we go from here. As I've said before, I try to give any of my business to any of these businesses that don't require masks and do not say anything to me when I walk in without a mask on. Because just as someone walks around with that with a mask on, I don't say anything to them. It's their right, their choice, uh, just like it's my right, my choice to not wear the mask. And we're getting into a very dangerous spot now 
as we're seeing with this vaccination and the shedding thing, which is a whole nother video. But that's where we are with the mask. So I wanted to update that. But got a cool, uh, cool little package here from Tracy and Jonathan Harness right here in Louisville. Um, well, look at that. We got ourselves some coffee from the Dancing Bean. This is in Townsend, right at Apple Valley Farms. Uh, this is another coffee house that we have not made it to. Uh, we went to Artistic Bean the other day for the Bronco thing, but have not made it to Dancing Bean. So I'm excited to go by, but this is Turtle Mac. Oh my goodness, this smells. Wow. Babs, get the little pup. You smell this. Ooh, that smells really good. It's from Dancing Bean. Oh, in uh, Townsend, right? Yeah, the one right by that Apple, Apple, Valley, Al right Apple Valley. Put that in there, we'll have to grind that up and try that. That smells amazing. Mm. That, that smells really good. Tracy and Jonathan, thank you so much for that. That is gonna get ground up and brewed up right away. So it says Matthew, Babs, Mac, Mac, and Tay. Thank you for allowing us to live vicariously through you. Jonathan and I used to do the kind of things you guys do but my knees are bad now and getting them fixed soon so maybe next summer i feel you on the knee pain knee pain and knee issues i have been helping my buddy justin and man this knee i i'm feeling i've had three knee surgeries on this one i know this one needs a knee surgery but the heck that i went through with these this side with those three I don't even want to touch this one. So I, I feel you, Tracy, with that one. Uh, hopefully you can get that in, looked at and fixed so you can get back out there and enjoy uh, enjoy your time. But that is a cute dog. There was a dog. Somebody abandoned a dog at Richie Cream this morning, just across the street, early in the morning. Really weird. The, uh, the original owner gave it to somebody that somebody put the dog out on the street and left it and I don't, Dustin found it and took the dog to the uh, to the vet. They they scanned it, it had a microchip. The original owner was contacted, said, oh my gosh, like, I don't know, like, let me come get the dog. Kind of weird story, you know? So I felt really bad though, it was the cutest dog, it was an old pup, like he looked so scared and just wasn't walking well. And But guys with the owner, hopefully he's good to go. Um, so another one we got, so this one came a little while ago. This one is from Craig and Penny. They are with Creative Creations Design. Uh, they saw the Fred Rose stuff and they were like, hey, like we make custom like cups and mugs and all that stuff. Uh, so we wanna send you some samples. Um, so this, this is probably something we're gonna use on the coffee truck because these things came out pretty awesome. You had your standard one, it looks kinda like a Yeti, but with Fred's Roast on it, right? It's got the cool little tops that close, so these are fantastic for the car so they don't spill. You also had this one, which is Babs' favorite, obviously, because Tiffany Blue is the color. The girls are fighting over this one. And then you also had your standard travel mug. Fantastic. They look great. I definitely I need to clean up the Fred's Roast logo. It's got a little bit of action going on around the uh, edges of it, just to smooth it out a little bit. But definitely like these. Craig and Penny, thank you for these. Uh, we will we will be in the talks of getting some of these made and hopefully have these on the truck for people to buy. I think I'm gonna give a couple of these away with uh, my coffee that I'm gonna give away. Got a bunch of other stuff. Keep telling y'all we're gonna do it. Uh, as soon as we hit 7,000, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give some stuff away. Just because I appreciate everybody on here. I've been getting so many messages um, from everyone that just, I, it, there's nothing like getting a message from people telling you that, you know, you inspire them or, you know, you're helping them out. And that's all I want to do. Like I, like I, I, I try to, I try to explain to the girls a lot, you know, whatever, if we get to 7,000 subscribers, what does that mean? It doesn't mean anything, right? In the big grand scheme of things, it doesn't mean anything. But when I get the messages of, you know, the couple dozen people that have actually taken the leap to, to improve their life or take that next step, that's what means a lot. That's what is cool and rewarding to me. So I love getting those messages. Uh, get them mostly on Instagram because YouTube's just so hard with the messaging. So I appreciate everyone that has reached out on Instagram though and you know, pass on those kind words. So many people that are just moving on and like closing on properties now and just, not even just Tennessee, people that have found themselves in Arkansas, South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, just found something new and got out of where they were at stuck in that rat race. So. 
uh, I'm really excited to see the progression happen and the people that are actually putting in the work and uh, moving forward with it. So it's cool. That's really cool. Huh, Mace? What do you think? What do you think? Oh, yes. Okay. Do you have anything else to say? <laughs> anything else to say? You want to say anything? You want to say anything to the, to the, to the peeps? Oh. Tank, what are you doing out here? Are you just enjoying it? I just, I could sit out here all day long and watch them just run around and have fun. It's beautiful today. It is beautiful. I'm excited for the weekend. Got a jam-packed weekend with soccer and saw a bunch of yard sales around local. I think we're gonna go hit those up. Uh, a lot of fun stuff going on. Truck, oh, the truck. Finally got a truck back. It was transmission issues. So we're gonna have a truck back, finally. Be nice to have my truck back. I don't know. I hate the thing, I love the thing. It's nice to have it back. That's it from East Tennessee, y'all. Hope y'all are well.